Hi, I'm Matt Sargent with ABC Acres in Hamilton, Montana. First, I want to start by addressing some uh, audio issues that we had apparently the last couple of videos. We apologize that and thank you for persevering. Um, you may notice my mug's a little closer to the camera than you probably want. Sorry about that for the time being. I'm on a short lease with our new microphone. Hopefully by next week we'll have a longer wire and you won't have to get the close up. But today we're out here at the Republican ditch. We're gonna talk about living on the edge. Sorry about that. Um, I won't do any more bad Steven Tyler um, imitations. But we're looking at the ditch. This is a project we did this spring. The ditch doesn't run through the winters. Um, so before they turn the water on this spring, we came through and we made a handful of uh, mini diversions with the goal of creating more edge in the ditch. One of the uh, principles in permaculture is to create more edge because the edge of any two systems is where you're gonna have the most vibrancy or the most biological activity. So today we're gonna go around the farm and we're gonna look at a few areas where we've created more edge and discuss how that is um, furthering the biodiversity of that area. And here you can see by adding rocks, making micro dams on either side of the channel, we've channelized the river. So in the middle, the current's moving faster. And then we've created eddies on the side where the water's moving slower. That slower moving water is going to give fish a place to rest. And that eddy line created between the current and the eddy, that's a place where insects are going to get trapped. And it's going to be a good place for uh, fish to feed. Um, so yeah, with that, we're gonna move on to the next area. Next stop in our tour of edge effects at ABC Acres is one of our hugel beds. Give you a little panoramic of it here. You can see it spans, well, because of the curvature of this hugel bed, you can't see, but it runs the whole length of the farm road here. One of the cool things about hugel culture, um, as far as creating more edge, is you're essentially creating a, a pile. Um, you're increasing the surface area of your land. You can create the same thing without burying wood by essentially digging ditches and making berms, um, a lot like uh, when people make on-contour swales. We're not necessarily advocating that. Make sure you understand how it's gonna affect your water table and your soil types before you do that. But even just piling up dirt, um, you're gonna create more edge. And the more edge of dirt you have, the more soil you'll have eventually if you're taking care of it properly, which means you'll have a greater diversity of soil microorganisms and you'll have the potential to have a greater abundance of plants um, and one really cool thing I noticed right as I got into position I'm gonna pick it up here in addition to all this plant biodiversity we also have some lovely slimy fungi growing out of the hugel here um, so by creating more edge here simply by lifting the ground up and burying logs and creating essentially a mound We've created more places for life to take off. Another real common example of creating edge in permaculture projects is tree belts or creating a savanna. I'm gonna stay out of the picture in this one cause well, I think this is far prettier without me. You can see our trees, tree belts, they're still very young, but as time passes and the tree belts mature and the trees mature, Lots of different species that inhabit the trees, squirrels, birds, um, woodland creatures. They're gonna take up residency in here. By them, more than likely, our uh, velociraptor fences will be down um, and we'll actually be grazing the cattle right up in and amongst it. But by creating these tree belts mixed with the uh, pasture, we're essentially creating a savanna and savannas, as far as uh, North American ecosystems are concerned, are one of the most productive and most vibrant ecosystems in the continent, um, with the exception of maybe uh, swamps and marshlands. 
And of course, we're going to finish our tour of Edge at ABC Acres at the Crater Garden. Um, this is an area that you know we are proud of and we just think is amazing. But part of what makes the Crater Garden so amazing is the amount of edge that it has created. And that's what makes it such a vibrant area. Um, kind of the reverse of the Hugo Mounds where we've piled things up to create more edge. With the Crater Garden, we've scooped it all out, um, which has created a lot of edge um, as far as exposed soil to grow plants and whatnot on. But it has also created the body of water, which we've added the uh, Chinampa-esque um, beds, which act as peninsulas, and we have the island. So as we move forward in the future and we create more of these Chinampa-esque uh, peninsulas, maybe a floating island or two, more of a traditional Chinampa, we'll be creating even more edge. We have the rocks that are in the water. Um, um, frequently around the rocks is where we find the tadpoles. Um, and in general, we're gonna do a short pan around of the area. This area in the crater garden, at dusk and dawn is just teeming with wildlife. Deer, elk, we have videos of coyotes and mountain lions coming through the area. Um, and part of that is there beyond the edge that we've created with the crater garden, we have even more edge with the woodlands that are just uh, to the west of the crater garden that also have an element of a wetlands in them with the floodplain of the Bitterroot River. Um, just realized you probably only saw half of me there for a little bit, so I apologize for that. But there's a whole lot of edge going on here, which is why it is such a vibrant area and uh, really kind of a magical place. With all that said, I hope you have a better understanding of some of the ways that you can create edge in your property or on your projects to create a more vibrant permaculture project. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, you want to share what you're up to, we love hearing from you. So please don't be afraid to let us know what you're thinking. And until next time, happy growing. Mm -hmm.